dear friend welcome to the channel in series of doctrine of constitutional interpretation our topic for today is doctrine of territorial nexus we are going to cover this doctrine and the two topic first we will understand what is this doctrine and what are the leading case related to this okay so first understand what is doctrine of territorial nexus basically this doctrine is related to article 245 of constitution of india so as you are aware in our constitution under schedule 7 power to make legislation has been divided between center and states okay under this article 245 it says that parliament or state can make law based upon their competence as per a schedule 7 however second part of article 245 says that if parliament make any law and if it has any territorial nexus with that subject and even if it is crossing that boundary penetrating to the state still that law will be valid in simple language we can understand if center or parliament has make any law for whole of the country or any part of the country okay that will be valid and and, and parliament can make law for that and nexus may be in relation to territory and it may be relation to the subject subject of the law okay uh, you will get clarity on this with uh, some case laws however it is worth noting point that article 245 give clarity for the law made by parliament if they are crossing territory and if they have nexus with subject they are valid but it is not saying anything about state for example one state make law and its nexus is going to another state whether such law will be valid or not it is not giving clarity and this has been given by various cases when they came in front of supreme court so we will see more clarity on this through these cases so one leading cases here is state of bombay versus rmd chamar bagwala now i will tell you fact of this case and contention of this case now you have to help me what will be the decision of court or what court would have held the fact are like there was one newspaper which was being published from karnataka and it was being circulated in state of bombay that time and there was quiz and some gambling also in this newspaper and state of bombay people were were taking part and submitting the fees and getting prizes also and uh, after seeing this what did uh, uh, government of bombay put tax on this newspaper and uh, the newspaper owner uh, went to court and they say that we are not publishing this newspaper from mara bombay at all we are publishing from karnataka and we are, we are paying tax to tax to karnataka and since we are not printing it there in the state of bombay how we can pay tax and bombay is not authorized to take taxes uh, from the newspaper which is being published in karnataka so this was the contention now you tell me what will be your decision if you are the court so if you are saying yes state of bombay can impose tax despite the newspaper is being published from karnataka because it is being circulated in state of bombay and money is being collected from the public of bombay so this is called nexus now you you can understand if there is nexus between one state to another state on any topic then law made by that state can be held valid under this doctrine of territorial nexus we will try to understand this doctrine with more, one more case law state of bihar versus charu siladas so i will tell you fact of this case also and contention and you have to help me what will be the decision of court if you are the court the fact are 
there was one trust in a state of bengal and its activity was also spreaded in state of bihar and there are contribution from state of bihar which was going to trust headquarter in bengal now what state of bihar did they put put tax they put they impose tax for the activities which are being done in state of bihar with this trust now the trust came to court and uh, the trust said that since our activity uh, uh, are only mere activity are there but we are registered at west bengal and we are paying tax to state of west bengal then why to pay tax to state of bihar also now you tell me if one trust is spreaded more than one state and having activity outside then whether outside state can put tax on its own activity of trust or not so if your answer is yes you are correct supreme court held that since there is nexus of this trust activity which is going to another state also so state of bihar can impose tax for the activity of trust which is happening inside the state of bihar do trust belong to state of bengal and it is being registered outside okay so now i hope that both this doc uh, case law will help you to understand doctrine of territorial nexus if you have further any comments please write to me in box i will be happy to rep reply please like and subscribe to this uh, channel and please forward this to your friends thank you very much